Hi everyone, it's Lisa with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And in this video, I want to recreate this little gift bag. I was playing around with some of my designer paper and I wanted a fairly tall and a thick bag. This is about two inches thick. And let's see, it's about almost eight inches tall uh, to put some gifts in. But I wanted more of a nature feel because I wanted to use this little squirrel from the Fable Friends set. So let me show you what I've decided on. I've got a piece of the Nature's Poem Designer Series paper that is in the Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. And I've got a 12 by 12 piece and we're going to do some scoring. Okay, so I have it up against the top and we're going to score at two, all the way down, five and three quarter, seven and three quarters, and eleven and a half. And now we're going to turn it and score at two and at ten. Okay, two and ten. All right, let's put our Simply Scored away, and we are going to fold on some of those score lines. Now, this is a two-inch score here. This is a two-inch score over here. That's the top and the bottom. For the top, we are going to fold this side down, and that's going to be a contrasting print for the top of our bag. So I'm going to give that a good crease with my bone folder and then I'm going to take some snail just so it'll stay down well okay let me go ahead and score on this not score give it a good varnish here okay all right so let me fold this down just like that Okay, and then I'm going to fold that again and give that another good burnish. Okay, so now I want to take this, this is the bottom, okay, and I'm going to fold that the other way. And we're going to burnish that. And then we're going to come back this way just to give that a good crease and it's going to lay just right, okay. Okay, let's do some snipping on the bottom here. I'm going to cut off this small rectangle formed by these intersecting score lines. And so I'm gonna go up to that horizontal line and then cut off. And then I'm gonna cut up to that same horizontal line going, following these score lines that we made. Usually, there's a side of the designer paper where you can see that those scores a little better than the other. This, with these prints, sometimes I have to struggle, but they're there. Okay, so now, this is going to be our tab that is going to hold the sides together, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and give that another good crease, and that Burnishing, it takes a little bit of time, but it really helps when you're putting boxes and bags together. Okay, so that's going to go like there. So I'm gonna put some adhesive right here on this little tab. So I'm going to use tear and tape so it'll have a good strong hold. Just tear that off and burnish that a little bit so that I can peel that paper up. And then we're going to come across this way and match up those tops. And there we go. All right. So now go ahead and burnish it again this way. And there we have the form of our bag. So let's put our bottom together. And I'm going to take my two sides 
and come in, and this is the seam here, so I want this to be the back. Fold that in, and then I'm going to take some more adhesive. Let's go ahead and use tear and tape. Uh, and this bag is going to my granddaughter and one of them, and so I want that it to hold up with their little gifts inside. I'll make a different one for the older granddaughter. She's three, the other one's not even two yet. Okay, so you can see where you could put quite a few gifts there on the inside, but I want a closure for the top, so I'm just gonna pinch in, and I want a safe closure, so I'm just going to do a ribbon tie, and um, I'm going to punch some little slits here so that I can put the ribbon through. And this is this, um, the three triple punch that we have. And I'm going to just kind of eyeball where the center is and I'm gonna slide all the thicknesses through until it hits, okay? And then I'm gonna punch, okay? And you can see it's close to the edge, but it still works. So I love that this is going to be able to punch my little ribbon slides through there. I moved over just a tan, and there we go. Okay, so now this is a shaded spruce, so I have some of the shaded spruce ribbon. Um, that Well, it's metallic ribbon combo pack. I believe it's in the annual catalog as well. I'll have the uh, links to all these products below the video. So I'm gonna, let me see, where's the back of my bag? I'm talking and not paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna just thread that through so easily. And a ribbon closure is really a good closure for younger children. First of all, they can't get in the bag until you want them to get in the bag or their parents want them to get in the bag. And then it's safe. It's not like you are stapling it or have a, some other kind of brad where might, they might get hurt. So, and I just left the ribbon on the spool until I was ready to um, tie it. And I wanted, I cut a little bit longer maybe than I needed, but I'd rather have too much than too little. And so I'm just gonna pull this down like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, let me even up these sides just a bit. Move this out of the way. Now, what I've done ahead of time is I colored that little squirrel with my Stampin' Blends, crumb cake, shaded spruce. I even used a little bit of Calypso coral there. And I'm gonna put that right here on the front of the bag. I think it's so cute. I don't think I need to put a name, so I'm just going to, let's see, I think I might use some dimensionals to put this on. I backed, I, I punched the little squirrel with a two inch circle punch, and then I backed it with a starburst punch, okay? So that made a really pretty shaded spruce layer behind it, and made the colors of the squirrel just pop because I got that his little jacket and light shaded spruce. Okay, there's an easy bag for a little one, or anyone really, but uh, it holds quite a few treats, and I'm you know, thinking about Easter and just giving little springtime gifts, so I hope you can use this idea. If you have any questions, let me know. Visit my website at inkandinspirations.com, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye-bye.